Hey everyone, Will here from uh, Flea Market Finds for October 5th, 2014. Uh, pretty good weekend overall. I uh, had some rain yesterday morning, which uh, kind of cut down on the amount of stuff I bought. Uh, but overall, not too bad. Uh, got some really uh, neat things to show you this week. Uh, I'll show you what I got. First up, got a white uh, metal detector. This is the uh, classic SL. Got the target ID on it. It's still original box, receipts, papers, and all inside. Uh, means a lot when you go to sell it. Uh, guy said he only used it a couple times, and I believe him. It isn't a scratch on the thing. End up having to pay a hundred bucks, but. That's an easy 200, I think. Maybe 220, 240. Uh, good chance that's going to go overseas. Uh, for some reason, seems like all the metal detectors I sell goes overseas. Must be a lot of metal detec detectors uh, out there. Uh, pick this up. It's a uh, Senko door spin. Uh, I think it's uh, for drywall screws. Uh, the problem is, it's missing a charger. Um, but it's like brand new. Paid 20 bucks for that. But missing a charger is going to hurt it. It's still going to get about 45 out of it. Got some uh, Chevrolet, I think they're uh, center caps. Paid uh, 8 bucks a piece for them. I mean, 8 bucks for the set of them. Uh, so two bucks a piece. Not sure what I can get for them. Uh, have to do a little research. A couple blankets. Uh, this one is uh, handcrafted in Ireland. Got that for two bucks. The quilt. It's really in rough shape. Got that for uh, five bucks. Uh, down here. Neat looking knife. Should be easy to look up. I haven't looked it up yet. Just picked it up this morning. Uh, Bear Cult. Guy had 85 on. He says, pay no attention to the prices. I asked him how much for that. He said 40 bucks. I took it. It's got to be worth at least 85. Uh, maybe more. I thought this was pretty cool. Everybody had one of these back in the 80s. But this is a Rubik's Cube, still wrapped up in the plastic. It's never been uh, out of the plastic, still in the original box. How cool is that? That was five bucks. Don Hume uh, magazine, uh, gun magazine holder, free belt. Picked that up for two dollars. Uh, easy money there. Love buying gun stuff. A uh, lock plate for uh, four dollars for old uh, Victorian style houses. Not quite sure what this is for. I'm guessing it's for the top of a flagpole, maybe one of those that's carried around. Uh, but got that for uh, seven. Piece of trench art. Dated from a cut down from an ashtray and from a 105 millimeter howitzer, and you can see it's uh, from 1943. And a 50 caliber shell is from. Try to get it to focus here. Uh, 42. So right during the middle of uh, World War II. Uh, that was 18. I'll probably put about 45 on that. A uh, Camillus uh, pocket knife, nothing great. Got that for five bucks. Now uh, that's probably about a $25 knife. Oriole stuff has been selling really, really good for me since they're doing uh, really good. Uh, one of these uh, souvenir hats. Three bucks. Uh, not sure what I'll get for that, but uh, everything oil has been selling for me. 
not quite sure what this is. It looks about the size of a uh, overseas bag, I guess, uh, or a duffel bag. You know, guys could stuff this and then uh, be able to carry it on their back. So, uh, military piece, military stuff always goes good. I got that for uh, two bucks. You need more cowbell. Uh, eight on that. Couple uh, little anvils. If this one's a real John Deere, it's a good one. Date it 1937. Uh, I'm always careful, always suspicious about anything cast iron and anything John Deere because they're so uh, counterfeited with uh, reproductions. But that one looks like it's got a good, some nice age to it. Uh, that one too. 15 for the pair on them. A little doorbell. That was uh, five. Old time telephone. Needs a real good cleaning. Has a date of 19, what is it, 1919, 1913. Oh, we're gonna have focus there. Yeah, so uh, like I said, it needs a real good cleaning. Uh, this was the type you picked up and uh, got the operator, and the operator uh, put your call through for you. Ship's bell. Just sold a uh, just sold a brass one exactly like this uh, for twenty five. Uh, so hopefully you get 25 for that one. This is kind of cool. Uh, Fedco circular saw attachment for your drill. You mount your drill in there and you have a little circular saw. Five bucks on that. Uh, CDs. 14 CDs for uh, uh, $10. Less than a buck a piece. Some pretty good names in there should uh, should sell well. Anytime you can come across some uh, unusual stuff and the price is right, you might as well pick it up. I have no idea what Mother Bay State and her friends is, and why a dinosaur is carrying a little old lady. Um, Different dinosaurs. I said Brontosaurus, great for Monday. Uh, Trachodon for Thirsty Thursdays. Um, same theme on all these. Anaclosaurus, always on Wednesdays. Uh, so, don't know what they are, but uh, they were a buck a piece. So, uh, well worth the uh, chance on that. Life jacket for a dog, still in the package. Uh, five bucks. You can see it's brand new. And the uh, woman said uh, that she paid $40 for that thing. Uh, I believe her, that stuff is not cheap. So, uh, some room for some profit there. A uh, piece of, what well, I think is Fostoria um, glass. Neat little dish. Nice quality, no chips. Four bucks. Light switch for a buck. Uh, I'll keep that for myself. Always need uh, good quality light switches. Oster hair clippers. And they're still in here. Pretty cool. Five bucks on those. Two bucks. Drafting stuff always goes well. And still in the original box. Uh, this was my wife's purchase. A uh, Clinique makeup thing. Um, I know she buys this stuff so that uh, anything Clinique is not cheap. Two bucks. Brand new. A uh, bunch of brass stuff. Paid two dollars piece for these. There's uh from France, a little souvenir, ashtray, 
and these are all uh, railway, railway uh, steam rally badges. Uh, Got to be some collectors out there. We'll list those individual. A uh, deco looking or mid century modern looking uh, barometer with uh, thermometer, hydrometer. Uh, made in Germany. Uh, very good quality. A piece of Majolica. Seen better days, but uh, neat looking mark on the back here. Uh, picked that up for uh, five bucks. Uh, the toys aren't anything special. He's got a broken sword. He's got a broken gun. I think the barrel's missing off his gun too. A little uh, Auburn rubber forklift. And a uh, what would have been a nice uh, tin toy. Uh, but it's missing the truck. Paid a uh, buck a piece for these. So five bucks for everything. That's at least a twenty dollar piece there. Don't know what it is, but uh, it's an interesting bottle. Delicious Easy E beverage. Got that for a buck. Uh, one of these. Um, can, oh, Vera Bradley bags. Got that for two. And what am I missing here? Oh, moving on. Check, out, check these out. Two boxes. Three to a box. So I got six of these. These are speakers. Look how thin they are. You mount them on your wall. And they actually have inserts that you can make, uh, put pictures in here. They'll look like picture frames. You won't even notice that uh, uh, where the sound's coming from. Gecko flat speaker um, you can see this box here it's never even been open and uh, this one I had to uh, help the guy carry it, uh, carry these out of his house um, you can see three of them in there they've never been used and it was 40 bucks for the six of them uh, due to math, that's less than seven dollars a piece. Uh, how can I not make money on those? Uh, not sure what they're going for. I have never heard of uh, Gecko, but uh, should be easy to look up. Whole pile of clothes. Uh, pink Hollister jeans. Uh, arrow. Uh, sweatshirts here's a North Face uh, shirt and there's a leather jacket back there that was 25 for everything uh, really good deal here Tapco Pro Cutoff didn't know what this was had to look it up on my phone but when I did I noticed it was bringing pretty good money uh, it's a uh, siding cutter Still in the original uh, box, still got the bag all sealed up. It's never been used. Got this for $28. And I think I can get around $230 for this. Uh, there's one on eBay right now. The big buy of the day doesn't look like much at first, just a wooden crate. Take a look at the label Winchester. Uh, model 94 lever action repeating carbine uh, so uh, Winchester rifles uh, were shipped in this crate you can see it's marked on the side Winchester and even on this side which is some very helpful information is the uh, serial number list of the guns that were in here and I did a look, I looked them up, and those serial numbers uh, date uh, to around 1945. Winchester lost track of their uh, serial number records from like 42 through 47. But based on these numbers, uh, I think 1945 is a 
educated guess on uh, when this was made. But uh, really cool piece. I mean, how many of these things were saved? It's the first one I've seen. You see the ammo crates, but uh, the rifle crates, very hard to come by. And uh, got this from a dealer, a friend of mine. And he actually told me he has the pieces to this label. You can see how it recently came off. Got the light, got that oxidized wood here for where the label was. It's nice and bright. He told me he saved pieces of this label and he didn't bring them with him. So uh, next time I see him, hopefully he'll have those pieces for me. I can glue them back in place. That'll make it uh, that much uh, better. Wasn't cheap. Uh, I actually had to pay 175 for this. But uh, I was thinking about putting uh, 400 on it. But uh, may kick it up to 6 May even do a crazy price like seven or eight not quite sure uh, but just a really cool piece what would be even better imagine finding a rifle with one of these serial numbers that you could match it to the crate that it was shipped in from the factory that would be really something I mean it would be like trying to find a needle in a haystack uh, but really cool piece. It'll be uh, fun watching that uh, uh, on. Uh, something I can sell on eBay. Uh, so no problems there. So I have to see. I got to do a little more research into the uh, into the pricing of it. But uh, we'll definitely be getting that on this week. On my eBay store called Terminal 99. Uh, which is where just about all this stuff will be appearing. So keep an eye on there. And uh, so until next time, this is Will Yard Sales Survivalist. And we'll talk again soon.